My name is Gordon Toddischuk and I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I just strive to be a good person, do good things. And with my book, I'm trying to do something good for the world so people can learn about this drug. I was just young. My parents were split at when I was 12 and about 15, 16. I tried drugs and I just, I liked them. <laughs> just plain old liked them. I liked the feeling. So I can continued with it. What, what would you say was uh, some of the factors that made you really depend on it, perhaps? Well, I, I did it occasionally my whole life. But when my daughter, me and my ex split, and I wasn't around my kid anymore, that's when it really, I really submerged myself into drugs because it really just made me forget about everything. I was like a zombie. I was like, when I was high, I didn't think about anything at all. Um, so right now, you actually write your book for your living and you make a living out of your craft. So how, what made you do that change in your life? What made you decide to, to change your lifestyle and then really just profit out of your own? Hard, like craft. Well, it was my girlfriend's idea to write the book because we like, looked into it. She looked into it because she wanted to understand how my mind worked. And then she couldn't find nothing out there. So, and she couldn't get it out of me because I was always so high. So really once I kind of slowed down and I came clean with her because she didn't know, then she thought it was a good idea to write this book. Like, she, so other people in her situation could know and understand how we are thinking. Um, um, so what is that feeling now that you get from profiting from the craft, your hard earned, like, you know, like you put all this work into this one book, like how does, how does that make you feel? <laughs> it, feel it makes me feel awesome. It's like overwhelming because really it's my story and I really didn't think it was interesting because it's my life. but. Once I started selling it, people started coming back and giving me like all the positive feedback um, and thanking me because they can better understand their spouse or their child that is an addict. It just made me feel like I did something good and it makes me feel awesome. So I think the last question would be, um, what do you think of uh, this social innovation project such as this one where uh, try to help people change their lifestyles well I think it's good for both of us like I, I'm helping students you know find their path find what they love and I'm also finding found what I love so I love to help people